you get to blame Toot for that one. Toot sat down on my stream deck. I am not joking, she sat down on the stop stream button. I was like, what just happened? All my, like my lights, because I have this button, if I click it, like my lights turn off as well, because that's a visual cue for me that I've stopped my stream. I was like, what just happened? Everything just turned off. But look at all of you watering the plants again and, and taking the, okay, let me see who was smart enough to snatch the first again. Panda. This is, you guys are going wild. Ah, no, wait, was it Panda? No, Panda watered the plants the last. Valaria, Kara, Hollow, Ellie, and Panda. Okay, you guys, you guys snatched the second first five today. I'm proud of all of you. <laughs> this is chaotic as fuck. I'm not even joking. I mean, usually in the beginning of stream, it's already really wild, but this is wildinger. <laughs> Yeah, to just end the stream because she was like, no, you said my butt was stinky. I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> but hi, Laura. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome in. <laughs> and hi, Sleepish. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. It's good to see you. But the chaos of this. Oh, my goodness. She just literally ended my stream. She was like, nope, you're done. You're done for today. <laughs> It also, like, I have this thing, I think she sat on two buttons at the same time, because I have, like, two buttons next to each other. One says open stream apps, and, like, when I click it, it opens up everything. Like, it opens up my OBS, it opens up my, um, like, my Discord and everything. And all of a sudden, like, it tried to open all my apps, but it also stopped my stream. So I think she sat on two buttons. <laughs> really, you've been binging the pack legacy today? Let's go. Where are you now in the storyline? Like... What just happened? I'm very curious. <laughs> but thank you for wanting to watch the pack legacy. I really appreciate it. That's so cool. I love that so much. Also, okay, now I just got a second stream go live notification. In the Discord. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? Um, I had like a train of thought right before Toots came crashing down on everything. And that was that I have a lot of people to add to the sub board. <laughs> because there were a lot of resubbies just now. So, um... Did you Snapchat it? Ah, I was like, what? <laughs> Today is resub day, apparently, yes. Today in the 19th, I think so. I think so, but I gotta scroll down a bit because so many things happen. Also, originally we had like the pride heart for all the gift subbies, but I was thinking maybe we should we should get a little flower now. Like for the, the normal months, we should get a flower instead of a pride heart. So I'm quickly gonna grab a flower that's like really cute. Um one that also like stands out enough that you can properly see it on the, the background. Maybe this pink one? Beginning, yes, definitely, Ellie, definitely. I think this one is cute. Like a little pink flower. There we go. Or does that, no, you can actually see it. It's not that visible though, yeah, true. But I can make it, look, I can change it. Just you wait. Just you wait. I know how to fix things. Look! Now it's really visible. <laughs> oh, sweetie, yes, if you can do that. I mean, I can scroll as well, but it's probably faster if you look with me. So I'm just going to start with the first one. And then if you can also look with me, then we can make sure that I don't miss anyone because I, I sometimes miss people. <gasps> it's a Bible voice time. Thank you, Louise, for the headband compliment. My hair was not a vibe today. And I was like, I need to fix something. Oh, of course, I can also just filter. 
I can filter on subscriptions. I always forget this is a thing. I mean, I also need to see the gift subbies. Also, sweetie, you're looking in stream elements? That's interesting. But we're starting with Ellie with eight months. Ellie. That is this leaf. There we go. You're going to be the first name on the subboard of July 2023. Can you believe it? That's wild. It's me, Ellie. Does, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Look at you. It looks beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. Easier to filter, is it though? Is it easier to filter? Never knew. I mean, I know I can do it in Twitch as well. Oh, I can speak normal again. Ellie, look at you, beautifully shining. <laughs> We're baby voicing. Yeah, we, we. I literally just finished. <laughs> Hello, Abu. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. First crew and first on the board. Honestly, Ellie, that's impressive. Mm. It has fewer options to filter. Okay, fair enough. And then Fanny with the three months, that is this beautiful badge. Let me grab it right away. Also, like I said, the subboard for this month, it's a bit bare. Uh, I'm definitely going to, to fix that. I just didn't have time for it just yet. There we go. That is the uh, three months from Fanny. And then Fanny also gifting a sub. Hello, there we go. For now, I'm just gonna add them here anyways. I think they need to be a bit smaller. Yeah, otherwise it's too big compared to the other one. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, look at that. The flower is so cute, right? Also, hello, Joe and hello, Sil. It's good to see both of you. I hope you're doing well. Doing good, tired, as buzzy, buzzy day, a buzzy day, sure. That's exactly what it said. <laughs> Busy day, but good overall. I hope you also had a good weekend. Uh, for me, it's hard to filter because the menu doesn't fit in the browser. Oh, that, I feel that hollow. That's annoying about Twitch, isn't it? They added so many options that now it's hard to filter because it doesn't fit in the filter list. Like, it's so stupid. <laughs> also, hello, Lena. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Mm. Also, we just had a lot of chaos of like stream restarting because my cat accidentally stopped my stream. <laughs> Saying that out loud sounds so much like my dog ate my homework, you know? Also, hello, Miriam. I hope you're doing well. You're on a holiday. <gasps> that sounds so nice. Enjoy it so much. Weekend was awesome. Hung out with my parents. Nice. That sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. And then we have a Blue Breeze, also with the three months resub. Beautiful. Oh, wait, you actually have that after your name. Looking gorgeous. And then we have Chris with the five months. That is still this one as well, I think. And then next month, you're going to get a new badge, Chris. <gasps> Exciting. Uh, there we go. Look at you shining. I totally didn't type. Well, I don't think copying is necessarily faster. As in, I mean, maybe, maybe it's a bit faster. It's just then I have to copy and paste from two apps. I can do it. But thank you. Because that's the thing, like, I have to copy and paste the text thingy first, what's going on? Thank you so much for everything. I have no more words. Louise, what the heck? Thank you for the three months. What is up with the three months today? Everyone's resubbing for three months. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please enjoy your time as a strong growing planty in the jungle. Please enjoy your badger emotes and your ad free viewing. The Wii Sports music, yeah! I love that you recognize it. <laughs> I love that you recognize it. Okay, now I can copy and paste. There we go. 
And then we had Louise as well with the five gifted. Heckin' freaking sweet. What is going on with the thingy not copy and pasting? <laughs> there we go. Everyone hanging out here, if you didn't do it before, please go follow Louise right now. The, the follow button is floating above chat. She's three away from 50 followers, which is a big milestone because it gets you to affiliate. So if you want to help out someone who's also playing The Sims and Valo, well, I'm not playing Valo, but Sims, make sure to follow RZ Studios, aka Louise. I'm seeing all of you. Because we need to show the love. We're getting so close. <laughs> I need to go to bed, uh, get ready for bed so I can get up at 3.30. Oh my goodness, that's so early. Please go and rest. Thank you so much for hanging out for the beginning of stream. I hope that you wake up rested, even though it's at 3.30. Um, but thank you for being here. And hello, Robin. I hope you're doing so well. Um, I'm typing it out anyways. <laughs> it's just like I do it automatically. Also, hello, Lynn. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Kara, with the, with the 17 months, that is, what is 17 months? A golden one. I really needed to look that up. I'm not joking. I scrolled up in chat to look at what it was. I feel slightly embarrassed, but also, uh, yeah, that's just how it's going to be. And we're all going to have to live with it. Um... Also, that will do. I, it's already, I'm already struggling. Uh, and let me see. Mm -mm. Because I think, I think I also need to add Louise over here. Also with the three months batch. See, it's, it's, it's wild in. All these three months subbies. I don't know. Did you all agree on this? Do you all have like a little group chat somewhere? Like a pact or something? Just all chatting to each other. It's like, do you also have your three months? Let's let's all surprise her with the three months at the same day. <laughs> um also, my weekend was good. How was yours, Lynn? I hope it was good too. I had a really nice weekend. I hung out with my two best friends. And we literally did nothing like. Hello, Peppy. Hi. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. It is so nice to meet all of you, <laughs> or see you again. Not it's not that meeting new faces for everyone, but if you've never been here before, it's very, very, very nice to meet you. Um, thank you for the shout out for Happy for everyone hanging out here. If you're not following Happy yet, this is your your only assignment right now while I welcome in everyone new. Go drop your bot on the follow button that is floating above chat right now. You will not regret it. Seriously. Happy is amazing. It's going to be on a panel with me in Paris. Well, not with me. I'm going to be on her panel. I, I need to say things correctly. <laughs> We're going to be on a panel together. Um, and you all really, really, really need to go follow her. And then with that out of the way, I'm going to say hi to everyone. Emerald Gemini, welcome in. Megan, welcome in. Akli Marie, welcome in. Hello. Mystic Vampires Grove, welcome in. Uh, is it Greta Malua? I hope I say that cor correctly. Welcome in. Uh, Kanashi Roboto, welcome in. Um, Witter Bugsy, I hope I say that correctly. Welcome in. Hello, Moonchow, welcome in. It is so nice to meet all of you. How was your stream? What were you up to today? Also, if you want to like drop off and lurk in anything, I fully understand. But if you want to tell me what you were up to, I would love to hear it. Was it, was it maybe potentially chaotic Honor baby challenge <laughs> thank you so much Queen Marie. i really appreciate it thank you thank you and also i wanted to say also but then i forgot what i wanted to say because that's how my brain works sometimes <laughs> for those of you that are new to my stream and uh, do not know who i am i actually have a small little raid video it's like a one minute introduction to me and my streams and my community so you can get to know me a little bit and i would very much like to share it with you and then I'll be back in a minute and then we can chat a bit about what Happy did on stream and if you had a good time. So I'll be right back. Hi, welcome in. My name is Rosanna or Ro. I mostly play The Sims and Minecraft on stream. They're all dying or fainting by seeing the fire. <laughs> what 
am I supposed to do? They're gonna die! Please sit on my shoulder. <gasps> I said please sit on my shoulder and it did! I'm from the Netherlands, I have ADHD, I'm part of the LGBTQIA community, and I love raising money for charity that tends to come with incentives that I might regret afterwards. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot handle sour things and I tend to get caught in 4K saying very stupid things on camera. Mmm, lemon. Yummy. Wow. Can you show the butt? Oh, oops. <laughs> she is doing the partner pussy push. Pussy. I didn't mean to say partner pussy. I have two cats named Toot and Sus who sometimes think that this is their stream and not mine. <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted. She is so happy with herself. She's like, hmm, yeah, look at me being here. I am an absolute plant mom, so much so that the community is named Jungle of Planties and you are more than welcome to hang out with us. But if you need to practice some self-care, like drop a lurk, stretch or hydrate, please make sure to do so because self-care is very, very sexy. That was a little raid video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, welcome in. Like I said in my video, if you need to drop off, drop alert, take care of yourself. I completely understand, especially you, Happy, you just had a stream. So if you need to eat anything, drink anything, I know for you it's like an hour earlier than here. So it's probably dinner time. Um, feel free to drop off. I completely understand. But if you want to tell me what you did on stream, again, I would love to hear it. But also if anyone from the community would like to share what you've been up to on stream, if there were any like penguin suits, chaotic situations, I would definitely love to hear it. <laughs> And also, uh, Winter Bugsy, thank you so much for redeeming the Hi, I'm New. What I usually do when someone redeems that is I do like a small introduction. But since the introduction is really similar to the rate video, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. I can tell a little bit about what we're going to do on, on stream today. I was just putting some new names on our sub board. We have like a monthly community sub board. So everyone who subscribes gets their name on the board. And then at the end of the month, I share it as like a community sub board. Uh, but today we're going to also do some Sims. So if you came from Happy and you like Sims, you're in the right place. Um, I'm going to play some Not So Berry Challenge. We've been playing the Not So Berry Challenge for a long time. I'm a little bit of a storyteller, so I like to take my time with the game. Um, we're on Generation 4, and we actually are going to have a baby today. So it's going to be slightly chaotic because we already have some children. <laughs> and also, thank you for everyone who just followed. I really, really appreciate it. Are you starting gray or ending it? I am like somewhere in the middle, I would say. Um, I, I, think, I think we've done like 60% of the generation. Um, we are currently on, like she's pregnant and the next baby she's going to be pregnant with is going to be the next generation, so the purple. So we're like not really ready for the next generation yet. We're very much in the middle of the gray, I would say. Um, of course, Robin, I hope that you have some good sleeps. And also, Top Top, I saw you come in in that chaos earlier. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Uh, love that Ray video. Self-care is sexy is my new motto for life. Let's go. It is a good motto. It's like, it's a good reminder for yourself to just not forget to take care of yourself, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much again for that raid. I really, really appreciate it. Like Hello, Mestre. <laughs> <laughs> also, Andrea, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Fun fact, in the Twilight movies, there's exactly 26 minutes of characters quietly staring at each other. Really? That is such a long time, honestly. Considering, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's four movies, but still, I really like Twilight. So that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm quickly going to, like I mentioned, we were- Challenge Hi, Charlotte. Hello, hello. I'm going to, uh, we were just adding some names to the subboard. So I just added Louise for the three months. And I think we thought we have every, everyone just now. Also, Ren, thank you so much for redeeming the question card. I'm going to grab the book really quickly. And then while we do a question card, I'm going to start up my game, okay? Also, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I'm quickly gonna go here, and then in the meantime, I'm gonna start up my game. Can I click on the right things? Thank you, Charlotte, for also watering the plants. Okay, let me boot up the game and then find. Then find. Ooh, this is a fun question. 
But it's kind of limited to people who are in a relationship. So that's maybe not too nice. Um. Hmm. Some of these questions are like so open-ended. What do you hate the most? Like that's, there's like a lot of things in life, you know? Mm. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of a Sims question because you can actually do it in the Sims. So which mod would be up for, for setting up a little poll? You want to hear it though? The question was, uh, in your relationship, who's in charge of your interior decoration? What I hate most? Cilantro, duh. <laughs> but the actual question that we're gonna do, do you think we should be cloning humans? Because in The Sims, you can clone, you know? In The Sims, we can actually clone Sims. Do you think we should be able to clone humans? Do you think that's a good or a bad idea? Thank you, Sleepish, for the lurk. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, but I'm gonna resume the game in the meantime. I'm not sure. I think Sweetie said he was fighting with stream elements, so I'm not sure. You can do it, Micah. Okay, then you can make the poll. I mean, it's kind of an odd question, but I'm kind of curious where everyone stands that is watching the stream right now. Like, should we be able to do it or not? Humans. I love how you wrote humans. I'm like. I mean, technically, we can already reproduce quite well. I'm not sure if cloning would be a great idea, but also imagine having two of yourself. That would be so easy. Like, I can just have one of myself do all the chores in the household, and then the actual me could do all the fun things. <laughs> is there a right way to rewatch this challenge? Also, hello, Gio. It is very nice to meet you. Welcome to chat. Um, I do have a second channel where you can watch like all of the streams that I've done before. I've actually grouped them in a playlist. Um, it's quite a lot of hours to watch. I don't like edit down my videos. Um, thank you, sweetie, for doing the command. So if you click the link that was just posted in chat, it actually takes you to my second YouTube channel where I upload all of my streams. Like said, it's not edited or cut down or anything. And I started this challenge about a, one and a half year ago. So it's... There's quite a lot of video material, but you can watch through and then like kind of click through and see what happened with the generations if you want. Um, but it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to chat. I think I'm going to have to say no for this question. At the same time, imagine if you could clone yourself. Like what if you get sick and you need a, an organ replacement or anything? And if you could clone yourself, like le let's say that the clone would be healthy. You could literally become your own donor. Which is kind of scary, but would it be affordable to clone humans or would it ju just be for the rich? I think in the beginning it would probably be really expensive, but if it becomes really normal, then maybe it would be for everyone. Kind of like how things go in the world, even though it's not fair. That's like usually what happens with science and like new stuff and things. I'm guessing I would have to go for no though, because there's just too much risk in making more of us. Like, we already do that quite well without the cloning part. <laughs> um, yeah, it would cause so much societal chaos. That's true. Can I send my clone to work and then stay at home? Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's one of the things you could do. Cloning complete humans shouldn't be allowed. That's actually a, a good distinction. Like, if you can just clone a part of a human, it could be a major breakthrough in science and healthcare. But cloning an entire human, maybe not the best idea. Also, hello, Asmodosia. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, Sam! Happy six months. We have 66.6% .6 of it, which it's, baby. It's a devil's baby right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for the six months. That's half a year. That's wild. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome in. How are you doing? Please enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your after viewing for a whole month more. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. And thank you for that follow too. I appreciate it. <laughs> mm. Okay, I know I just started up my game, but now we have someone to add to the sub board, which is very important business. 
because Sam just got a three months badge. No, six months badge, which is a beautiful, beautiful leaf like this. So let me add you to the board. Is wild. Look at this. We started this board today. How is there already so many names on this? I cannot believe it. You guys are too heckin' sweet and so supportive. Thank you so much again, Sam. I really appreciate it. Um, the new season of Rick and Morty kind of has an episode like that where the other versions of themselves did chores and it did not go well. Like, imagine how much we'd hate it, but if the clones' uh, only purpose in life, they're bound to go a bit crazy. Good point. Good point. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um... I mean, it, it is an interesting idea to, like, think about being able to clone parts of yourself. Um, don't twins already share the same DNA if identical? I don't know, actually. Also, hello, Aspendosia. I'm not sure if I said hi to you yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now that you mention it, I think to a degree they, they would, yeah. You want me six instead? What do you want with me six instead? Um, but what if my clone is evil and tries to get rid of me? But if your clone is like exactly like you, do you think it would really be able to be evil? Yes, that's, that's true, Kara. That's true. We're over halfway. Yeah, so, okay. I see, by the way, that's like a whopping 94% of you says no to cloning humans. Interesting. Interesting. But there's still 6% that thinks, yes, maybe we should do it. But yeah, what Charlotte just mentioned. So we have this thing going on um, for every single Twitch baby. We have a challenge in the Discord going on. So every time there is a Twitch baby born, which is like either 19 or 18 months or 27 months of resubscribing to the channel, um, we add it to the list and we have this, what we call the 100 Twitch baby challenge. And as soon as we get to hundred babies, which means that a hundred people have subscribed for nine months or more. So it's quite like the challenge, obviously for the community. Um, I'm going to have to do the hundred baby challenge, which scares me to death. I've done it once. I got to baby seven and then, and then just quit. So. <gasps> Sweetie, thank you so much for doing the, the TwitchCon panel command. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so for those of you that are interested um, this weekend, like in case you are coming to TwitchCon, obviously with everything that's going on in Paris currently, it makes sense if you want to make up your mind later or if you want to stay safe, like make sure that you do whatever feels comfortable to you. But if you are coming to TwitchCon and you're looking for a really fun panel to follow, um, together with Happy, who just raided us, and um, the Ember, we're actually doing a panel about how social media intertwines with um, Twitch growth and like your Twitch streaming journey. Um, so it might actually be live streamed. We're not 100% sure about this just yet, but if it is or will be live streamed, um, obviously I'll make sure to share a link in the Discord so anyone that is uh, interested can watch it from home too. But yeah, that's really cool. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> um. What if your clone goes rogue and becomes a murderer and then you can't prove it wasn't you? Oh my god, why are you all asking such smart questions? Next time I want to do something really dumb, I'm just going to ask the community because all of you are way smarter than I am. <laughs> um, it's not originally the bot, really? I've never watched Rick and Morty. I have to like completely admit that because Scott has watched it, so I've watched part with him, but... Um, though their fingerprints are different. Wait, that's so interesting. Also, hello, Fiona. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. And thank you for that follow just now. I really appreciate it. <laughs> enjoy your noodles, Lynn. Enjoy, enjoy. Mm. Since infants were added to the game. One on their baby challenge is so much more challenging. It really is. Blob, what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you so much for gifting out five subs to the community. <laughs> I haven't even said hi to you. Hi. 
I hope you're doing well. How was your weekend? Thank you so much. It went to Wicked, to Dark Sims, to to Amber. I love that. To Daniela and to um uh is it Ali Clark? I hope I say that correctly. Please enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your after viewing for a whole month, courtesy of Blob. That is very freaking kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? It's good to see you. And hi, Em. It's good to see you as well. Let me add you to the brand new sub board. Because, because, wait, where is it? Look, this, this month, all the gift subbies are beautiful purple flowers. So you get to be on there as well. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate that. Beautiful! Like a flower growing in the jungle. <laughs> and be quiet, you're sick. You're sick? I'm so sorry, Em. I'm so sorry to hear that. And also, hello, Sam. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Uh, purple, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Also, I'm so distracted today. <laughs> Had to learn how, but I did it. What did you do? I, I've, I'm missing so many chats. Your stem cells are in the library. Let's go. I'm going to add them in a bit, okay? I'm going to add them in a bit. But let's go. And hi, Spring Kitten. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're dealing with JJ, who's constantly angry because he is scared of... What is it now again? Yeah, losing control. But the thing is, we cheated away his fear. Because the game was glitching. I don't have fe fears turned on. And for some reason, he kept having a fear. Um, also, wait, he has milestones. Can we see with who? Can we see with who he had his first kiss? No. That's kind of sad. Interesting, though. Um, totally did not play The Sims for 35 hours in less than a month. No, totally. That's like a whole work week. Um, is this the man who was scared of the fire that wasn't there as well? No, I don't think that was him. I don't think that was him. Although he might have been. I'm blaming thanking you. You're welcome. <laughs> you have your fears turned off too. It's definitely annoying. It's like kind of overpowered. But not in a good way. Also, can we take a little moment, just like, briefly? To look at the light in this room? Like, this is legit a good, like, the light, just the sunshine kind of coming in looks really pretty. Sorry, I just, I just had to take a quick look at that. Um, okay, but our toddler, oh, that's the thing. She was upstairs, and I have no clue why she, she was upstairs, but I think she can go downstairs by herself. Because she's a bit hungry. She really needs to have some food. Oh, yeah, we had a million pizza. Because Scott kept buying pizza the other day. Aw, Alexa and Siri have a sentiment. Okay, so this is another thing. We need to make sure that Siri is, like, friends or, like, best friends with all of her children. Which, right now, she is almost, like, best best friends with Alexa. She is quite good friends with Cortana, and she's quite good friends with Bixby. But we're definitely not there yet. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yes, good sunlight makes or breaks a photo or screenshots. That, like, in real life as well. Um... Okay, but she's coming downstairs and she's going to get some food, so that's nice. She is actually also a bit hungry, so maybe she can also go grab a serving. Because it's also kind of dinner time, so it's not that weird that they're all hungry. She can sell this, which is great. And then maybe she can make a new painting. Because the more she paints the more money we get. Also, what is Tenor doing here? Tenor is like Alexa's father. I don't think he's ever showed up to the house. And just walked in. Uh, how is her school project going? Not too bad. Not too bad, but definitely not done. Okay, I think now that she's done that, she can immediately... 
Do a surrealism painting? Oh, no, wait, not a small one. I want to do a big one. Um, Ari kills Sims? Does she? How, how do I not know this? Oh, he's just working out. Great. You, you put your anger somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Remember when I said earlier, I think he needs to start working on his, um, like, wellness skills? Because we gave JJ the career of a physiotherapist, which he cannot get, like, he can get promotions, I think, by just doing well in his performance. But it's like a career that never gives you any quests or tasks to complete. But I do like the idea of working on something that fits with his career. So I think I'm going to have him work on the wellness skill. Because from my spa day let's play, or like spa they play through in my pack legacy challenge on YouTube, I know that the wellness skills has to do with giving massages and stuff. And I think that just fits well. Also, hi, Bardell. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. Your sim caught on fire going to the bathroom. Have you perhaps updated your toilet with, um, what is it called? I think there is like, you can upgrade it with um, biofuel or something. And I think if that's empty, it can catch on fire. I don't exactly know how it works. I've done it once by accident, but I know that if you fully upgrade your toilet, it, it can catch on fire. Uh, I did, I made a mistake for an eco one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? You think that you're being really environmentally conscious and then every time your sim goes through the toilet, it just catches on fire. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> you lost everything? No way. Wait, your sim actually died? You didn't, you, you weren't able to save yourself? Can you go back to the save? Like, can you not save and then restart the game? Oh, yes. To clear your lint trap in your dryer, for sure. How much Taco Bell do you need to eat for your toilet to catch on fire? A lot, apparently. A lot. Do you think you can empty the compost or something? I think so. But I'm not 100% sure. It's long gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I mean, now you get to, to enjoy starting a new game. That can also be fun. That can also be fun. Your poor cat. Oh my god, that breaks my heart. I was like a person with cats. That that breaks my heart. <laughs> also, hello, Lottie. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. It's good to see you. Okay, she can stop working on her school project, I think. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I just like half choked on my, on my own spit. <laughs> Uh, she had some food. That's great. I think actually maybe you can give her a little bubble bath because she's not really gross. But if we wait longer, she is going to get a bit gross. The kitties are doing good. They're being really cheeky. They they had a lot of cuddles today. Um, I always remember not to upgrade my toilets to that level. Yeah, I think I also learned it from Little Simsy and watching her YouTube videos. Um... The wind is getting really intense, huh? Yeah, I noticed that as well. I know I've been noticing it all day, but it's getting worse. Just wanted to come by and say hi. That's very, very sweet. Please go sleep though. Go go get better and make sure that you you well that you're well rested. Mm. Mm -mm. If you have an active insect farm, you can collect the compost that way. Oh, I never knew that. Never knew that. But that's so interesting. And also, Sam, I just realized I, I saw your message earlier and I totally didn't respond. But yeah, if all is well, both me and Happy are going to be at TwitchCon. So we can hang out. <laughs> you want to come to our panel, perhaps? <laughs> um, Sure. She has a strict family dynamic with all of her children until they are older. That's actually kind of funny. I don't know how that happens. Like why they have the strict family dynamic. Because I don't feel like they're... She's disciplining her kids a lot. But speaking of, I just literally said, oh, I want to work on, with them on wellness skill. And then I didn't do anything for that. So I'm just going to buy him a yoga mat, I think. Of course, sweetie, of course. Enjoy foods. I will be there cheerleading in front row. I said this. Um, we had like a little uh, chat with Amber and Happy over the weekend. We had like a little call. And then I was like, yeah, there's a couple of people from the community that are going to be there. 
<laughs> and I start like listing people that I knew were gonna come to TwitchCon from the community. Like, oh, actually, if all of you come to the panel, that's quite a lot of people. <laughs> I heard Lottie, she told us on the in the call, she was like, yeah, so you're gonna be seeing my penguin nails. I'm very stoked for that. <laughs> I'm very stoked for the penguin nails. That's honestly such a mood. I love it. Also, speaking of nails, I'm I quickly have to show you guys. Look, I got mine done as well. I know it's very simple. Like there there there's nothing special about it. They're just like pink, but my previous nails were really like they grew out so much. They were like silver glitter and it was really nice, but I just wanted something that would fit with basically anything in my wardrobe. So I didn't have to think about what I would wear when I was doing my nails. So I got them done and it was so nice. I did it Saturday. So Saturday I got like my brows and my nails done. And then I went to hang out with my friends. We went for dinner and drinks and then we had a sleepover. And then on Sunday we went to a little festival and it was so nice. Like the whole weekend was just so nice. Thank you guys for the compliment on the nails. I appreciate it. I think after this, I'm going to stop doing them though. Um, like, I might paint them myself occasionally, but ha getting your nails done is unnecessarily expensive. Like, I get it. They obviously need to use a lot of materials and it's quite a craft. So I'm not saying that it's unreasonable. It's just, it's very expensive. Mm. I'm just going to make sure that she is doing really well before she goes to bed. She does have to go to school tomorrow, so... She needs to learn how to ride a bike. That it could be really fun though if we actually do that. When is her birthday? On Friday. Okay, that's actually not too bad. She could potentially learn how to ride a bike. That could be fun. But before we do that, I think before she goes to sleep because she's not mega tired just yet, I think I'm going to have her practice a little bit more piano. She just had a bath. She can go potty now. You need to mop this up because you made a total mess. I think she's she's going to pop that baby at a very inconvenient time. I just feel it coming. That's always what happens. You can actually make some more food because, again, we are running out of food. Although the last time I think she set the kitchen on fire. But let's just pretend that that did not happen the last time. If I really want to do my nails, I just do them myself with my mom. I really wish I had the skills. Like, I can paint my nails, no problem. That's easy, but... Or, like, easy. I've done that a lot, so I've been trained. But do it... This is, like, be up. So there's, like, a layer underneath that is making my nails really strong. Which is very nice, but it's really hard to do yourself. Um, I brought pieces of my collection over a couple of times. <gasps> yes, I would love to do that, though. Just painting our nails ourselves. But then the thing is, like, it's gonna chip really easily. So this will stay for, like, four weeks. And it will just not chip. And it will not break or anything. So that's why it's so expensive. Um, super expensive to maintain. Yes. It's very expensive to maintain. But it's so nice. It's, like, so easy. You get it done once every four weeks or something. And you just don't have to worry about it. Also, hello, Glitter Corganoli. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I switched to glue on nails and I've surprisingly had good success with the right glue. To me, the problem with glue on nails is that they never fit my nails. I have ginormous nails. So they always come with like a couple of really big ones and then I just run out. I don't have enough to like all of my nails are really big. That's actually what the, the lady said who was doing them this time. She was like, wow, you have ginormous nails. I was like, yes, I know. <laughs> um, I want to switch them out and play around. That makes sense. I'm a bit lazy. I just want them to look good all, at all times. That's true. Base coat and top coat helps a lot. That That's definitely true. But I still, I chip them quite easily. Mm. But the glue on nails, if, if they sold them in like the right shape, or like size, I would totally do that because they come in really cute prints as well. And they can stay quite well up into a week, I think. Okay, he's just doing some- oh wow! Okay, wait, why are you so stinky, man? Go take a shower. How did he get so stinky? Not cool. Uh, he can also get some leftovers. 
I think she can actually go to bed. Although, no, 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 wait, I don't want her to go to bed by herself. I always feel really bad when that happens. Uh, please read your kid to sleep. You can't just ask someone why they're stinky. I mean, maybe not in real life, but in The Sims, I feel like, I, I mean, he looks very stinky even. I always wonder, like, imagine if you sweat, this is what happens. Like, imagine sweat staining this badly. Right? Like, they always come with the tiniest nails. And I'm like, I'm not the person who can use this. No further comment. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's just, it looks like he rolled in the dirt after being really sweaty. Like, it kind of stuck to his body. Um, okay, she practiced a lot of piano, which is nice, but now she really needs to go to sleep because it's also getting kind of late. Um, how is she doing? She is doing so well, I think she can do another painting. Oh, actually, I don't think this is quite her style just yet. I don't think she, she found her groove with the surrealism yet. Maybe he fell. Yes, let's just keep it at that. I think he fell. But I think I want to have her do one more painting. Um, she can do an abstract painting. They can be quite cute. And then after that, she can go to sleep as well. What time does she have to work tomorrow? At 8 a.m. Okay, so, and actually she's going to get a promotion too. I think this family is going to get so ridiculously rich because they had an inheritance, which already gave them like 20k for free. They already paid off the mortgage of the house, so they don't have any loans going on. Their bills are quite high, but not ridiculous. And they have JJ with income. They have Siri with income and Alexa with income. So that, and that's just going to go up, I think. I was going to say, why did you get pie? But honestly, you're pregnant AF. So please just eat your chocolate pie. Enjoy whatever you want because you're about to pop out a little one. I despise painting abstract. I'm so bad at it. I feel like that's the only thing I can do. Anything that has to resemble anything, I'm not your person. But abstract is just kind of like, well, that fits me because I can't do anything else. Clippy is coming, yes. And I think Clippy is going to share a room with Bixby. Uh, because then it's easier that we have the small kids downstairs. And this is also the biggest room. As soon as Bixby ages up into a kid, she is actually going to get this room. Um, and then I think Plum... Or like Bobby can actually have this room at the end. But that makes me feel like because this is such a great room for two kids. That makes me so tempted to continue like have one more child. In between Clippy and, and Plum Bob. Yeah, she's knocked up. But this time it's by JJ. So JJ is the, the baby daddy. Oh my god, why are you wearing such a fashionable outfit? Stop it. You, you are not allowed to be this cute. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna sleep in the treehouse, though. Potter. Hello, Potter. Oh, I mean, you actually. Hello. <laughs> He's looking so cute. I cannot. But please go sleep in. This is now your bed too. Can I? Can I like assign the bed to you? Because I think that's why he keeps going to nap in the treehouse because he doesn't technically own this place in the bed. You hoping for twins? Oh, I didn't actually check if it could be twins. I'm gonna check, but you guys don't get to see it just yet. And then maybe we can do a little prediction. I did not think about the option of having twins. Damn it. Wait. Where does one check this again? Over here? Okay. Clippy and Cloppy. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god, that would be poor babies. Poor babies. Also, yes, thank you, Top Top. I mean, technically I've been streaming for <laughs> for 50 minutes, but um my stream well, I was gonna say crashed, but that's not true. That's not true. My cat stopped my stream <laughs> after 30 minutes. <laughs> so technically I've almost been streaming one and a half hour. I'm going to do a little breaky at one and a half hour today instead of um, at two hours because I'm probably going to do a bit of a shorter stream. 
like three hours because I was really tired today and I want to make sure to go to bed on time. Really? Oh my goodness. Imagine just accidentally having an extra kid and being like, yeah, crap, we did not account for this. But yeah, now that I, I know, I know her pregnancy. I'm quickly going to check if the house is on a ley line or not. The house is not on a ley line. We can actually do that for the next pregnancy. That could be fun. Because then, then, like, it wasn't on a ley line now, but maybe... Maybe with the next one, the ley line can help. But, I mean, maybe this one didn't even need the help of a ley line. Who knows? Do you guys want to do a small prediction? Like, if she's pregnant with twins or not? We could set it up. Could be fun. Ooh, prediction. I have too many points. Is there a mod who's willing to set it up? Like a little prediction? I'll give them away. Okay. I just want it to be cloppy. Triplets can have clappy. That's like the little ducklings from Donald Duck, but then like clippy, cloppy, clappy. What are they called in English? Because I only know the Dutch names. What are the Dutch names, or like the English names? Okay, there's a prediction. If you don't see it, you can refresh the stream. And then... Huey, Lewis, and Dewey? Really? That doesn't sound as fun as it does in Dutch, though. In Dutch, they are called Quick, Quack, and Quack. <laughs> That's just perfect. <laughs> the Dutch names are really honestly great. Okay, okay, wait. I'm gonna open Twitch Twitch so that I can not only see the points, but I can like actually see. Um mm -mm, I can actually see how many people are doing the prediction. Okay, okay. Interesting. Um, can you, like, please just sleep in your actual bed? And maybe before you go to sleep, can you get yourself some food? And then go to sleep? I think she's fine. Well, I by the time she's in bed, it's probably going to be 2 a.m. in the morning again. Because that's just how I roll. <laughs> and Kong Engstens, the fourth one that happened in Miss Prince. Wait, that's a thing that actually happened I didn't know. Okay, so far, nine people have said yay, and seven people have said nay. So points-wise, the nay is much higher, but people-wise, it's almost a 50-50 now. But I think that's because Tub Dub is trying to give away points. I'm guessing. But yeah. Feel free to join in on the prediction. If we'll be having twins. Okay, is she actually going to go to sleep? Yes, yeah, she is. Perfect. Okay, let me actually make sure to save. Because I always try to save when all my sims are sleeping. No, Aspen, that's so sad. Oh, I feel bad. No. Not, not the crispy pancakes. Uh, like they will have four hats or too many feet, stuff like that. Because people started noticing they made uh, quok cannonish. That's hilarious. That's honestly hilarious. I love that. Um. Okay, let's just fast forward now. We need to keep an eye on because I think, wait, what time does he work? He works at nine. She works at two. She doesn't have a job at all. Obviously, she's a toddler. But I think both um, Cortana and Alexa need to go to school at eight. So around six, I kind of want to wake them up. 
I hope that they'll actually be like done sleeping by then. Oh, Siri can take family leave. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Almost time. There we go. She actually already woke up. Okay, that's perfect. No, don't go on the treadmill. You need to go to work in a little bit. Get yourself some breakfast and go pee. Maybe then also go like take a quick shower and then she is at least ready for work. Um, wait, it's kind of, it lagged a bit, so. Points for free, points for free. I mean, people-wise, it is 50-50. Points-wise, it's almost 50-50 with this prediction. Okay, that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Huh. I'm so curious to see what it's go what's going to happen. Um. Okay, she actually woke up. She's comfortable. Oh, she still has a loose tooth. Can we take it out? Uh, pull out loose tooth. I think we're just going to go for it. She got it! Yay! Cortana lost her tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix missing tooth no that's funny we're gonna wait we're gonna wait till she has a new one thank you for the follow welcome in it's very nice to meet you and hello girl from norway i hope you're doing well hi it's good to see you okay the prediction ended so 54 percent of you are saying nay with 5.6 points 6k points and then 4.9k points which also uh, 10 people so 46 percent are saying yay. So it's almost a 50-50 split in the community whether we're going to have twins. Okay. Interesting for sure. Uh, let's actually get her some breakfast. And then also, can she put her... Yeah, place tooth on their pillow. That's definitely... We're going to do that in a bit. That's funny. I was saving points for... Yeah. The, um, okay. The custom sound command thing, I will bring it back. Although there is a very practical challenge... Namely, the service that I use to give people sound commands has a limitation of 12 personal sound, uh, 12, 20 personal sound commands. So, so far over this span of two years, 20 people have redeemed a custom sound command, which means that I filled up all the slots. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to research whether there are alter alternatives to the service that I'm using. Um, or I'm going to see if there's maybe someone who hasn't been to stream for like a really long time. Um, and I'm going to see if I can remove theirs. However, I only want to do that if that person hasn't made it to stream in like a year. Um, because obviously someone saved up for it and I don't just want to take it away. So there has to be like a really good reason for me taking it away. I'm, it's probably going to have to be that I find a replacement service for the custom sound alerts. The problem is it's not a very easy thing to do. There are ways around it. I know there are but I haven't found the perfect one yet. So up until then, I disabled the redeem for the simple reason that I don't want people to spend so many points if they if I can literally not give them what they spend their points for, but I will bring it back. It's just going to need some time. Mm. One of the kids I'm babysitting actually lost her tooth today. Wait, really? That's so cool. I love that. I love when kids like, that's like such a thing when you're a kid. You like losing your tooth. I don't know why, but I always felt felt that that was such a big deal for me. Uh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's nice to meet you. I vote they cart for the sound command. Mm-hmm. Just so that you can cart again, Tub Tub. Hello, Panji. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Actually, first put your tooth under the pillow before you go downstairs, because otherwise you're gonna be walking back and forth, and that doesn't make any sense. Why are you eating in your sister's bedroom? That's a bit weird. Also, she she doesn't have to take a shower. She's doing really well. Which gives her an hour, so she can just sell this in the meantime. Did someone say sound command? Maybe. Thank you all. I love it so much. It's so cute. 
Uh, you can put it under the pillow without sleeping. I'm actually not sure because she put it there and she just literally went back to bed. It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky when you wake up, you'll have a super nice surprise from the tooth fairy. Okay, but I mean, technically she can, she's going to wake up in a little bit because she was already done sleeping. So I'm kind of curious if she'll immediately find something. There she goes. She just woke up. Look at that. We got 80 bucks for that. Stop. She got 80 bucks for a tooth? That's wild in, honestly. Okay, all of a sudden, all of my sims are awake. Literally every single one of them. She lost it in her food? Oh, that's, that's painful. That sucks. Quickly, hit her in the face with a bat. We'll be rich. Just smack out all of her teeth. I, 80, I didn't get that for a mouthful. I never got any money for my, for my teeth. Because my parents thought that the, that the tooth fairy was stupid. So they were like, yeah, you, you can put it under your pillow, but you're not going to get anything. So just, they just bought me this little pill container, like, you know, for pills. And they were like, you can keep your teeth in this. There you go. And that's how it happened. So I never got any money for any of my teeth. I was scammed as a kid. I know. <laughs> a new rags to riches idea. Honestly, that's kind of cool. Trying to get rich off of teeth. Also a little bit scary now that I say it out loud. That sounds a bit cursed. <laughs> In this economy? Yeah. Isn't it rude? Your parents gave you silver dollar coins. That's cool, though. That's like pretty as well. <laughs> Also, Alexa actually reached level two in the entrepreneur career. She is sad, though, from shared sadness. Who is sad? Oh, she is sad. From missing furry friends. Oh, she she's an animal lover and we don't have any pets. Wait, we have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Technically, we could have... No, wait. Oh, if we get a pet, the next... Ooh, I have to think about that. With, like, our current pregnancy and the next pregnancy, I'm not sure if we, we will be able to get a pet. Also, hello, Benu. Welcome to chat. Are you money with hack in Sims? I'm, I'm guessing that you want to know if I'm using a money hack, but no. This money was all fairly earned. <laughs> Um, get her a pet. Ma Ooh, maybe chickens or like a llama or something. That could actually be kind of fun. Because they, they are not active members of your household. I was thinking about a cat, but... Get her something with a lot of teeth. <laughs> Just many teeth, you know? Get a cow and call it Moo Moo. Moo Moo is a cute name, though. A baby cow. I love cows. But I mean, it's kind of weird to just have a cow. Like, randomly chilling here. Just just randomly have a cow. I would. It would make more sense to get a chicken coop. <laughs> like, to be honest, a chicken coop way, would make a lot more sense than a, just a random cow. Just like one cow. Nothing else. This house doesn't have any animals, but we have one cow. No, I didn't have a break, Tup Tup. I was just about to say. I did. I need to do a break. <laughs> goats with the new pack but then we would need to wait a month and she's already going to be grown up by then thank you for the follow i really appreciate it thank you thank you um yes i love cows i don't know why i love cows so much but i just think they're adorable thank you for the follow as well i really appreciate it welcome in it's nice to meet you um got like 20 bucks for a tooth so much. Well, my sim just got 80, which is obviously completely unreasonable. <laughs> also, hi, Casually Grim. It's good to see you. Welcome in. Um, You love the gray gen? Oh, really? Okay, I'm, I've been loving the gray gen so far as well, but I've heard a lot of people say it was one of their favorites. 
Uh, you love cows because Dutchies love cows. It is known. But the weird thing is, I didn't love cows until like six months ago. Then they were just like, oh yeah, nice animal. But for some reason, something in my brain was like, yep, yeah, now you like cows. And I cannot explain it. <laughs> okay, but I really do need to take a break. Because I want to get myself another cup of tea and another uh, cup of lemonade. Because I'm out of drinks as well. Um, and like mentioned, today's going to be like a three-hour stream probably. So this is kind of my midstream break. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. And hi, Lollipop. Welcome to chat as well. It's very nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, for those of you that want something to do during the break, feel free to check out how cute you are. Yeah, I can live with that. That's kind of fair for today. And feel free to check out what is in the fridge for you. Dog food? Really? The bot just gave me dog food? I'm a little bit offended, honestly. I think I'm going to get myself an actual snack from the fridge. Well, not necessarily from the fridge. Just something. How long are you in the challenge? I've been playing this challenge for like one and a half year. I'm currently on generation four. I'm a bit slow. I like my storytelling. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in five minutes. Um, don't worry, I'll be running some ads, but the ads are always shorter than the actual break time, so you won't be missing anything. But if you're sticking through the ads, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I run them now so that when we come back later, people that come into the stream don't have any pre-rolls for an hour. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in about five minutes. Please use this time to also practice some self-care. Grab a drink, grab a snack, anything, because self-care is very, very sexy.
Hello, I made it back. Hello, hello. Oh, I feel like I need to sneeze. This is the third time today. What up, baby? What up, sweetie? <laughs> This is the third time that I was like, I need to mute because I need to sneeze, and then it just doesn't happen. Did y'all have a good break? I hope you did. Uh, can she do another painting before going to work? Probably not, but she can start one, I think. She can have breakfast right before going. You can actually go potty. Not like, wake up. oh wait, I already selected that she needed to go potty. Hung the laundry and started the next one. Let's go. That is pretty sweet. Uh, he needs to work at 9 in the morning. So I think actually he can also get himself some leftovers. Um, and then maybe he can use the restroom. And then he's also just ready for work. She only needs to work at 2. And she's gonna give birth somewhere. I'm guessing that she's I, she's either gonna give birth before work or at work. I don't think she's gonna keep it in until after work. Put a lot of chili oil on my noodles. Is it is it still good though? You should really use the restroom. Maybe take a thoughtful shower, and then get yourself some breakfast too. Uh, she needs to go to school, but I think she's gonna do that right now. Yes, no, you need to stop painting because you have to go to work. Oh, why are you cleaning up everyone's dirty dishes, girl? You need to go to school, and I can sell the dirty dishes. I like your build, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really happy about this build too. If we ever move out of this house, I'm really gonna miss it. It's such a nice house to play in as well. Um, no, you're not gonna ask for a bath. You really don't need it. You're gonna get yourself, well, maybe some mac and cheese for breakfast is intense, but you're gonna get it for yourself anyways. You can actually clean this. Um, <laughs> flop, shush. That's so sweet of you to say, though. I mean, I feel like this house is one of my better creations. As in, I'm not saying all of my other creations are bad, but I feel like this house is really good. Like, I'm very proud of this build. I know, JJ is so ridiculously hot, it's unfair. Like, he's so... Mm -hmm. I can't. But to be fair, Siri is also really pretty. So, I mean... They're gonna have really beautiful children. <laughs> Like, unfairly so. He's he's a daddy, yeah. Also, I've been working on trying to, like, make a little compilation clip. Maybe if it's short enough, like, a TikTok or YouTube shorts of um, Scott playing The Sims last week. And there's this one moment where he's like, friendly introduction, do you want to be my daddy? <laughs> About JJ, and it is so funny. Like, the way he says it, because it's, like, right in the middle of all the pizza ordering chaos. I, I still don't know, like, what exactly happened that made him say that, but it was so funny. Um, I don't think she can work out being so highly pregnant. But potentially she can... No, she cannot do yoga being so pregnant. She cannot actually run or work out or anything. Can you swim when you're pregnant? She can swim. I mean, I think that technically skill still gets her uh, body fitness up. Um, my build suck more the suck will allow. It's okay. You can get better at it. Like, I also didn't learn how to build overnight. I spent three years obsessively building in this game. <laughs> so hot mopping pee from the floor. Hey, if you can mop pee from the floor and still be hot, you're doing something really well. Um, her movement skill could potentially go up. That would be nice, actually. Um, what's that? What's that? I'm just gonna have her, like, kind of wobble around and look at some things. Um, 
because that will get up her movement and i think the thinking about what's that also gets up her thinking skill which is kind of nice i'm just trying to figure out like what all i can click on to say what's that Uh, that she can go there too. We could always adopt. Why would you? Why? Why would we want to adopt Lottie? I mean, to be fair, she. I think. I don't think we need to adopt. My sim always ends up as a marshmallow. What do you mean your sims always end up as a marshmallow? Okay, I don't think the swimming is doing much. You can shoot around with some basketball. That's actually not a bad idea. How are you doing? How are you wobbling around? Oh, wait, he actually left for work. Oh, but he's doing quite well. I think all of my Sims are doing pretty okay. I think I wanted her to make friends in school because she doesn't know anyone. I think she can just work hard. Although today she's already getting a promotion anyways. So maybe she can also socialize with coworkers and we can meet some of her coworkers. To be fair, it would be kind of fun if she eventually started dating someone as well. Because she now she's a bit lonely. Yeah, she's like floating. She's just just hanging there hanging out in the water. Which to be fair, I can imagine if you're pregnant must be quite comfortable. Like imagine carrying a baby in your stomach. I think just hanging out in the water where um Gravity doesn't have as much of a pull on you. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, okay, how are our skills doing? Movement, still not great. Go here. Alexa had, has met Tori while at work. Okay. Hi, Tori. It's nice to meet you. You mean womb? What did I say? In your stomach? I mean... Yes, but that your womb is in your stomach, right? Like, in your belly. I think I'm gonna have her walk here, because that's like a long distance. That will probably be good for her movement. How is she so pregnant and like, casually basketballing like this? She's like, like, throwing the ball everywhere and stuff. Um... If my Sims ends up having twins, I'm screwed. My house is too small. We were just talking about that earlier, if it could happen to us as well. Also, Ken Shari, welcome in. It's it's very nice to meet you. Welcome in. Is her skill actually good? I, I mean, technically, she, she, her um, fitness skill is already at level 10, so it's not like she can really build any skill. She really has to pee, though. Okay, go pee. And also, I keep forgetting that I keep, like, having the kids do things very independently. But technically, they really, she really needs to train the kids. Because she needs to get her parenting level up. So... I'm actually thinking that maybe she can... Toddler care? No. Uh, parenting. Teach to say please and thank you. That's actually kind of a good one. She also has a strict family dynamic, so I think it makes sense that she tries to teach her kid manners. And I think that does get her parenting skill up. She is already at level 2 with her parenting... Uh, level 2. Level 7 with her parenting skill, and she has two more kids to go. And I think her skill goes up most when they are babies. Wait, what did it just say? Oh, her work starts in one hour. Okay. I think her baby is going to pop out when she's at work. Loving the vibe. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. The chin is strong. I keep forgetting. The Kyle Kyerson, Kyleson chin is, is definitely there. He had strong genes. Oh, it actually helps her with her language skill as well. Do you know what could be fun? I just realized we have like a bunch of um, reward store points. What if we get her the mentor trait? I'm not sure if we already have it. No, because that way she can mentor other Sims more easily. And I think that helps with raising your kids. 
Um, what is the other one? Like, it could be fun to give her... She could be a great storyteller. That's also kind of cute. She's dead. Oh, wait, she already had the gym rat trait. Um... Mm, let me see. I think we could get the frugal one, too. Simply because it's just easy. And if we give it to her, then it's like she's already our ongoing generation. So it's not like we're cheating and giving it to the youngest kid who will be here for the longest time. Mm. Oh, she's definitely a great kisser. That's just a must. Mm. All the other things I feel like kind of cheating. So I'm not going to give those to her. I think I'm going to give Alexa. I can't do it now because she's not here. But I think I'm going to give her the entrepreneurial trait. Because she keeps selling her paintings. Does the mentor trait only work if a sim has a specific skill level 10? I don't think so. But now that you mention it, I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm going to read what it says. Um. Oh yeah. So when she reaches level 10... But still, it's kind of nice. I'm not sure if she can then... Like, I'm not sure if you can mentor a toddler. I think it might help. It might help her now that she has, like, movement or, like, fitness level 10. Potentially, she could help a child with their movement skill or maybe help, like, with riding a bike. I'm not sure. Okay, she has to go to work, which means that... Uh, Bixby is actually going to daycare for a little bit, I think. Having a baby at work is like, it's meant to be because it's clippy. Oh my god, that's so true. I didn't even realize that. That's actually kind of funny. The rain is falling so hard. I have my windows closed or like my curtains closed so I can't see, but I believe you right away. Pretty sure the mentor trade is actually redundant. Really? Why? Uh, sent to daycare. That would be perfect. Because if she goes to daycare, she only goes there for like an hour, but at least they take care of her skills. Ooh, she got promoted. Let's go. Okay, Um, actually, let's go to the reward store and give her the entrepreneurial trait. She has just enough points to get that one. Um, But it get it makes more likely that she'll get promoted into her career, which is obviously kind of nice. Um... What are other things that I wanted to do? Did she meet anyone but that one guy at work? She met Tori. Let me see. Who is Tori? She doesn't know much about Tori, to be honest. Does she have any other friends? She knows Adeline. I don't know from where she knows all of these people. You're kind of cool. You're a teenager, though. Oh, wait. They used to be in football friends. They used to be in high school together. I think I'm just going to have her make more friends at work. Um, maybe she can also join a new club. Like, I don't think she is in a club. But how about she joins a wor workout club? Let's create a club. Let's make a... Maybe she is in like a boot camp club. Like she joined a boot camp. So the requirement is definitely that they are either young adults or adults, I think. Um, and their hobby, is it hobbies where, yeah, working out is definitely a good activity. Something that they don't want to do is, um, watch TV. That's not cool. Booty camp. Okay. We're going to call it booty camp. There we go. Uh, like you don't need it, uh, for the mentor or social to appear once you have, really? That's actually so silly. Like, why did I keep it in a game if the mentor option actually appears if you don't have the trait? Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. Um, so, okay. Who do we add to the club? Um, can we also... I think that might actually be nice. Um, skill level plus two. Could actually be kind of nice for fitness. Because then it makes sense that it's people that also work out or at least have some affinity with working out. Um, oh my god, Rusty! 
My boy Rusty. That could have been her father. The only reason her father is tenor is because, well, Rusty didn't want to go to prom with us. So I don't think she should be in a in a club together. Um, that's kind of weird. I think that's this is a cute club of people, right? Also, is it um share? Do I say that correctly? Welcome to chat. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome in. Uh, I think this could be cute. And then definitely we need a, an icon. Um, we can just do this. And now she's in booty camp. She knows all of these people. But how about we... I think you can be in another club. How about... Hello? Hi, welcome in. It's so nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi. Miss Relaxing Gaming, welcome in. Thank you so much for that raid. I see that you were doing some just chatting today. Um, you also live in the Netherlands. That's so nice. Feel free to let me know what you were up to on stream. I would absolutely love to hear it. Highest Owly, welcome in. And Miss Relaxing Gaming yourself, welcome in. Feel free to let me know what you were up to on stream. Thank you so much for bringing your community here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for the shout out as well. If anyone here is looking to follow a wonderful new friend, please make sure to drop your butt on the follow button that is floating above chat right now. Um, and also, Night Rex, hi, welcome in. It's very nice to meet you as well. Thank you for coming with that raid. For those of you that are wondering who I am, hello, my name is Rosanna or Ro or Rosie. I love to play The Sims. Um, sometimes play some other games, but mostly The Sims. Today we're doing a bit of a legacy challenge. We're playing the Not So Berry challenge. Um, and I was just creating a club for my Sim, and you are all more than welcome to hang out with us. But feel free to let me know what you were up to on stream. If you need to raid and run or drop a lurk, I completely understand. We always say that self-care is very sexy. So if you need to practice some, please make sure to do so. But thank you. Uh, we played some Sims and then talked about Disney stuff. Ooh, that's exciting. What did you do in The Sims today? I hope you had fun. And thank you so much again for deciding to share your community with me. That's very, very kind. Um, I was just creating a club for my Sims. Um, because she is already in a booty camp club, which we basically made where she is like, it's a workout club. But right now, I think I'm going to have her be a part of like um, an artist collective of some people who are all painters because she works at a painter studio. She's like, a well, not a painter studio. She's a graphical designer, which is obviously not the same as painter studio, but still like I want her to also know some artsy people. She like she really likes working out, but she's also very artsy. You made Tangled in The Sims. I love that. That's so cool. I love it when people like take Disney as their inspiration for The Sims. I don't know why. I cannot really put my finger on it, but I feel like it's a good match. Um, there we go. The Artist Collective. And I definitely want this to be another young adult and adult situation. So she can just meet some mutuals, like some actual people that she can, can become friends with. Um... Their career actually doesn't really matter, but their skill, I definitely want to have their skill in painting. Um, there we go. And then let's see who we can add. We have Ami. She looks cute. Ooh, Ash looks very artsy. Um, Chantel as well. Also, Chantel is, I don't know, that name sounds, doesn't sound... Doesn't fit with the Sims in my brain. I can't actually explain why. Um, but I watched a girl that was watching watching your stream because she had pain in her leg and was lying in bed and was annoyed because of it. Wait. I'm trying to put two and two together now. You watch the girl. Are you talking about Muskunin? <laughs> I'm like trying to put two and two together now. <laughs> Feel free to let me know if I have it correctly or if it's someone else. Because then I might need some help. Um, who else do I want to add? Ooh, you look very artsy as well with your big 
fancy puffy coat. Um, Victoria Master, she's a vampire. Maybe not. Also, this is weird. Yunko looks very artsy as well. Is it just me? Oh, I was just about to say, are there only girls? But there's also one guy. But apparently I only select good girls now. That's a cool club. I like it. Um, and definitely something that is good to do is home activities. I think no. Um, hobbies. I think painting is here as well, right? Mm, no. Oh, art and music. Obviously. Obviously painting is there. They can view art and they can do paint. There we go. A puffy coat automatically artsy. Yeah, that's how it works, right? <laughs> that's how that goes. I mean, it's not just a puffy coat. I feel like she just, she also has an artsy face. I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> but I think she's, she's like now in two clubs, which is kind of fun because she now automatically knows all these people. And maybe we can start a club hangout at one point and we can just go with her to maybe a rec center or something. An artsy face. Yes, some people just have artsy faces. Can I make it make sense? Probably not, but that's just facts. <laughs> also, I've been thinking if I want to place like another rec center, because the one that uh, we have by default in the game is not the bestest. And I was thinking if we place another one, it could be really fun to play in the rec center and actually take our kids there and stuff. Um, why? Are She's sick? Oh no, poor Cortana. I feel bad for her. You can do your homework, though. Uh, correspond with Sunset Valley Pen Pal. I'm not sure if that will actually give her friendship with someone, but I'm here for that if it is. Um, you love making new rec centers? I will also do it for our save file. Like, I'm making a save file with my best friend. And I will for sure make a rec center at one point. But for now, I just don't necessarily know what I want to put in there. So maybe actually placing someone from someone else could help me with figuring out what I want to place in a rec center. Uh, she can also play inside after. And then she can just go into her own house and then she can resume her painting. I mean, I would be the person that just basically puts any and every activity that there is in The Sims in the rec center so that you can just go there and there's always something to do, if that makes any sense. Mm, give a pep talk. Like, imagine it just having, like, anything for every age group, like having puzzles and cross-stitch and knitting, like, just every freaking activity that the game comes with, just mush it into the, the rec center so you have everything. I don't know, that just sounds so sensible to me. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, she's done with her homework. Great. Then I think she can continue working on her school project. Uh, she is done, I think. Yes, perfect. Okay, she now actually did that. She needs to do three emotional paintings. I think if she takes a bubble bath, she gets playful and we can take a, uh, we can make a playful painting. What does she, okay, she's pottying now. And then apart from that, she doesn't eat much. She can just play. Perfect. She is playful. Ooh, JJ actually brought home 700 simoleons. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, she can do a playful painting. Awesome. How is he doing? Hey, also, not too bad. Not too shabby. How is work going? Okay, it's going up. That's perfect. I think he can also just make some dinner. Because again, more food, more better. He can make some more mac and cheese. And then after that, he can just actually work on his yoga. Okay, she is doing playful painting, which is great because that's part of her aspiration. Ooh, and she le reached level four in imagination. I think the kids playing in the play tent is literally one of my favorite things. Like the animation of this, it's just so adorable. 
Like her, like also chewing on the toys and stuff. It is so realistic. Like this is what kids would do probably. Um, how are her skills doing and when is her birthday again? Oh yeah, her birthday was on Friday. That's actually not too bad. We should totally be able to get some of her skills up more. Thinking is a bit low. Um, maybe after JJ is done, he, he's not going to do some yoga. He's actually going to help her with her thinking skill. But then in the meantime, you should actually get yourself some food. Grab a serving. Because I think they learn faster if they're learning with an adult, right? That's how that works. I think that's how that works. Ooh, nice. She finished her school school project. That is pretty nice. Um, because that means that you get rewarded extra credit and we can sell it. Because obviously we're not going to keep it because it's very ugly. There we go. Um, of course, thank you so much again for that raid. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your time zone. And thank you so much again for bringing your community here. Is a recreation center, yeah. It also took me a while to realize when they released the pack that that was what they were talking about. Yes, okay, then we definitely need to get her with an adult. Um, also, I just saw that we got some things from the Tooth Fairy. We'll have like a little certificate and a little sticker. So I want to put that on her wall in her room. Um, and then she can... We can replace that one. She can use the restroom and get herself some food. Oh, we already had mac and cheese, okay. She's gonna have some food. And then... JJ can also, in the meantime, quickly pee. And then he can sit down with Bixby to practice the thinking. Because as soon as she has level 1, she can just practice with the... With the cubes. The things. What is this called? What is this called? Rock a stack. No, this is not called rock a stack. What does one call these little blocks? Is it just called blocks? In my head, it has a name, but maybe I'm just completely mistaken. Um, did she finish? Yeah, she finished the playful artwork. Um, maybe we can have her play chess and then potentially get focused because I think she can then also make a focused painting stacking blocks thank you that's what I was looking for in my brain I don't know why it took took me so long to just figure it out also hi Meredith I don't think I said hi to you just yet I hope you're doing well no you're not gonna work out I know that you really want to but you're gonna teach oh she went to sleep she went to sleep in the tent Poor kiddo, wake up. You're you're gonna get put to bed by by JJ because this is sad. Okay, she's woken up. He's going to read Big Speed to sleep. And then after he's done that, he can still practice some yoga. I was thinking he can work with her on her skill, but she is so tired she really needs to go to sleep. Maybe wait, maybe before he puts her to bed, they can play. Because her attention is also a bit low, and I feel kind of sad. She doesn't. She doesn't get much much attention. Umbraza, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. He can still read her a book, and then he can just put her to bed. I think. I feel bad for her if we don't treat her well. Hi, Kiki. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing my nails for the 4th of July. Oh, wait, of course, the 4th of July is tomorrow. All of all of the US friends have, I guess, like a long weekend, or at least most of you guys have a, a celebration tomorrow, right? Are you doing anything special for 4th of July? By the way, that goes for anyone from the US. Are you doing anything special tomorrow? Why does the kid glow? Because when they're playing, this is kind of like to illustrate that they're being really playful or that they're enjoying themselves or something. I think that's what, what it's about. But it's not really, it doesn't have a function. Gonna be lurky. Thank you for lurking. I really appreciate it. 
Uh, I was gonna say you have a good stream too, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> Thank you for wanting to hang out here. I appreciate it. And also, Gamer Mama, hi, welcome to chat. Going to the beach tomorrow. Ooh, that's so nice. I hope you have really good weather that you like properly get to enjoy the beach day. But that sounds good. You can use the restroom and then also get yourself something to eat. Apparently, she's she actually kept the baby in until midnight. Or midnight until after work. That's impressive. Uh, she can practice some more piano. They're Disney 4th of July stickers, really? I mean, I'm, I was surprised and then I thought about it for longer than a second and I actually wasn't so surprised. Of course there are. An adult Barbie beach house party? I Can I come to that? That sounds pretty darn amazing. Um, I have issues with fireworks. I'm sorry, that sucks. Yeah, 4th of July is a big firework holiday, isn't it? They usually put up a lot of fireworks. Is that out to cook? I just want to light some sparkles. That's also nice, though. I hope that... Is your boyfriend a good cook, Bren? Like, can... Are you gonna have really nice food? <laughs> Aw, Bigsby and JJ have a sentiment. I love that. Okay, now you can actually practice some yoga. I told, to, told him to do that a million times, but every time I kept changing my mind on that. How is she doing? Is she already focused? I don't think she's getting very focused. Um, we should get one of those tea brewers because then she can just drink something and change her emotion instantly and that makes it so much easier um okay she's really tired i think i'm just gonna put her to bed because now that the baby is not here she can still sleep like this is a rare moment in time of her being able to sleep still because after this, we're going to have a baby. And then we're going to have an infant. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. Um, just doing some burgers. Nothing fancy. I'm a better cook. And I'm not great. So, okay. <laughs> well, I hope the burgers still turn out really nice, though. Uh, he is focused. He could... Wait, you know what? If you get focused from doing yoga, may maybe she should be doing yoga instead of chess and then you can actually just take a bath or like a steamy shower because he also needs to be prepped for when the baby is here like he's also going to be really busy he's uncomfortable from getting so big oh i legit thought that he had a moodlet from like gaining a lot of muscle i was like why are you uncomfortable uncomfortable about gaining a lot of muscle and getting really big but it's about the toddler growing up. Yeah. That makes so much more sense, Rosanna. But I just completely interpreted that wrong. Oh, well, I'm not sure which is better. <laughs> I bet that you can actually do practice some yoga. Um, You also really need to stop playing the piano and you need to go to bed. Um... No, sleep. There we go. Uh, isn't there a shower? Oh, yeah. I think if you take a thoughtful shower, you might get focused. I always forget that. That's the thing. Uh, she probably has to go to work again tomorrow, though. Yeah, at 8 a.m. So she can stay awake too long. She already has one focus moodlet, though. But I do think she needs to go to bed. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to have her take a quick shower and then... Did I do a quick shower? Yeah, okay. And JJ's also going to go to sleep. I think, like no joke, I think the baby is going to come out every second now. Who are you? Oh, that's the mailman again. No, go sleep in the bed. Stop sleeping in the treehouse. <laughs> I don't get why he is so obsessed with sleeping in the treehouse. I'm going to my sister's house for the 4th, but have to leave early to get back onto my dad's for my dogs and his dogs. My dog does really bad with fireworks. Oh no, I am so sorry. 
I've I've had that with my cats as well. Like they were really scared the first two years, and it it's so sad to watch, isn't it? Like you can just you cannot tell your pet that it's going to be fine, even though it is. It's going to be a hundred percent fine, but still you can't really tell them that. So you you just have to see them suffer. I mean, you can still be there for them, like hang out with them, kind of cuddle them, and assure them it's going to be okay, and it does help. Of course, now she's focused. Am I gonna wake her up to have her do a focus painting? Oh, apparently focus painting is not even a thing. Okay, well then just sleep. <laughs> I thought that doing a focus painting was a, th was a thing, but it's not. Okay, let me save the game again because it's they're all sleeping. That's an important moment to save. And then let's see how long it takes before that, for like, before she gives birth. Before the baby pops out. Because then we can also do the prediction whether it was, if it's a baby or babies. Who knows? And she's gone into labor. Okay, I'm gonna have her pee first though. I know that's a bit silly. But I'm gonna have her pee first. And then I'm going to actually buy the crib. Or no, I'm gonna send her to the hospital because then we get the birth certificate too. Although then I might actually quickly get her some food as well. It sounds very silly. It's kind of like I'm gonna grab my all of my collectibles when there's a fire in the house. Like why would you first make sure that all of her needs are green before going you know, going to the hospital. Can you not eat? Oh, I was just about to say. More choices. Is there something spoiled in the fridge? There is. There we go. I wish I could explain it to him. I can't remember the last time I got to see fireworks. Aww. Do you like fireworks? Like, is it something that you miss when you can't see them? I always have this thing, like... Pretty fireworks, I really like, and I'm always kind of sad if I don't see it. But you also have, just have fireworks that makes a lot of noise. Do you know that? Like, the fireworks are just is a really big bang, and you're kind of like, why? Why is this fun? I don't get that. Like, it just scares me. Why was there a green ghost? Well, so, very tragically, um the male women men male person actually died um while delivering our mail so she kind of just lives here now i guess <laughs> and she's green because she's happy so the color of the ghost actually uh resembles the mood they're in so for instance when alexa's happy it's green so when a ghost is green they're happy when a ghost is like light blue they're inspired when a ghost is dark blue they're sad when a ghost is red they're angry so, the color of the ghost corresponds with the mood they're in. But yeah, she died on the lot. It's very unfortunate. But she's happy little ghosty. She's just chilling here. <laughs> also, hello, Mark. It's good to see you. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay, she is um, just having some food. And then she can actually go give birth. Have the baby at the hospital. Uh, send alone. There we go. And then she also needs to get herself some food because she needs to work in two hours. And she needs to go to school in two hours. So she can take a quick shower and pee and then also get herself some to eat, something to eat, some breakfast. Maybe she can just have... I'm kind of curious if she has a lactose-free cereal. If that will fill up our entire hunger bar. Hello, little sissy. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Fireworks can be fun, but I live pretty dry area, so we won't have any this year because of the band. Oh, it's actually safe that they banned it, though. Like, I know it's it sucks, but it's so much better than... I mean, we saw it the other day in The Sims, remember? When, like, the yard just got caught fire because we were putting fireworks. Hi, Andy, it's good to see you. Wait, hold up. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. It, wait, wait, wait. I, do I remember correctly? I think I said that today, right? Today is your birthday. 
Is that correct? Because I think we already had a little party in the Discord, but if you're here, we need to make sure that that little party transfers to Twitch chat. <laughs> you're doing good. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm doing good as well, Lil Sissy. I'm doing good as well. Um, yep. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Have the most brilliant of birthdays. Look, Toot just joined. I mean, you can't really see her, but Toot, look, her tail. Her tail is here to also wish you a happy birthday. Can we all get some massive happy birthdays in chat for Andy, please? Because that needs to be a heckin' party. Hey, Toot. Yes. Can you sing a happy birthday song, Toot? Okay. Yes. Good job. Good job. Also, it is a girl. First baby. It's a girl. I'm not sure if it's going to be one or two. Meow. Hold on. You want to be on my lap? She wants to be on my lap. <laughs> Okay, her name is Clippy. I mean, we already agreed on that, so her name is Clippy Rose. <laughs> Party time! If everyone wants to dance on Andy's birthday party, feel free to do exclamation point dance in chat. And also, I mean, we're also dancing because K Clippy was born. So it's like Clippy, Clippy and you share a birthday now. But let's see. This is going to only be one baby. Fun fact. MC Command Center actually glitched. I checked it twice. I checked it twice. And it first was one baby. And then I checked it again when I went on a break because I was like, wait, what did I, I can't remember what I set up. Like, was it one or two? I couldn't remember. And I think it's because I assigned the ley line trait and there is place in the household that it actually added a twin. So originally it was a single baby, but then it was, it became a twin. <laughs> but it's, it's twins. Yay. So uh, that that means that we're gonna have uh, Cloppy or Clappy. Do do we prefer Clappy or Cloppy? <laughs> also, is it? And and ta Antini Eleni? I hope I say that correctly. Feel free to correct me if I said that wrong. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. I'm trying to, to figure it out as well as I can. But welcome in. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for redeeming the hi I'm new. My name is Rosanna or Rosie or Ro, whichever you prefer. I use she, her pronouns. I am from the Netherlands. I have ADHD. Today we're playing the Not So Very Challenge. I do love myself some Sims. I have two cats of which one of them is just staring at me very intensely right now. But welcome to stream. You're more than welcome to hang out with us. But yeah, um, that prediction was unexpected. But I think, I mean, also, hello, Numbing. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. This is Toot. This is Toot. The orange one. Hey, Toot. Hmm? She's so cute. No worries, no worries. I mean, it's they're my cats. I totally, totally understand not knowing my cat's names at all times. But it's good to see you. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Got the prediction right. Yeah, I mean, actually, the people who got it right, you're getting some sweet points. <laughs> uh, watching a video on voice training, feminization, and it's like super, super interesting. Really? I can imagine it being a really interesting topic, but I didn't realize people made videos about it. Um, Baby, to come home with me. No, dude, you're staying with me, huh? Hmm. I'm getting so many kisses. Me too. Yeah. So many kisses from you. Okay, but um, I think I think Clappy is going because I think Clappy sounds better than Cloppy to be fun to be because it also means something. Dude, don't, don't no, you are not allowed near my stream deck anymore. I love you, 
But you're 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 gonna stop stream again. You're dangerous around buttons. <laughs> oh. Yes, you can chill here. That's fine. Or you can chill on my lap. That's also fine. But you're not allowed to sit on the stream deck anymore. <laughs> but, um, welcome, Clappy. We now have two babies. Woohoo! I mean, I think. I think it is safe to say that that means that they're not gonna, like, the last kid, the next kid they're going to have is going to be the next generation. Clippy and Clappy are, that's good, that's so terrible. Clippy and Clappy are going to be their, the last pregnancy within the, the, you know, the names of voice assistants. <laughs> Clippy and Clappy battle for the next gen. No, I really want to name the next generation Plum Bob. Because the next generation is going to be Plum. So I think that's just so cute. Of course, Lynn. I'm so sorry to hear that you're having a small fever. Please, please go take care of yourself. Like, rest. And, and I hope that you wake up tomorrow feeling all better. Um, why do cats always sit in front or near the screen? I don't know. I think they just like it. Because they know that they're in the way for you so that they will get attention, probably. Battle to death? Kara. I mean, I know that sometimes I murder my sims, but are you really going to have twins battle to death? I'm a little unhinged today, just just a tad. Um, question though, where are the babies? Okay, both of them ended up over here. I think that's not the place where I want them, so we're definitely going to move them. And both of them are going to go in here. Okay, but I think what is going to happen, um, like, practically, because now we do have uh, this room downstairs. I think this room downstairs, we're going to keep Clippy and Clappy. <laughs> I'm going to laugh so much every single time I say this. We're going to have Clippy and Clappy probably stay in this room. Um, so that means that little Bixby is going to, I mean, Bixby was already going to move upstairs. As soon as Bixby turns into a child, she will actually get the room up here. Um, but then there is one challenge. Once Plum Bobby is actually living here, or like when Plum Bobby is born, what I think I'm going to do is by the time that that happens... Let me just see, like, timeline-wise, very practically. I need to think about this because I don't want to expand the house. The names in this family are something else, yes. So we have um, Alexa, Cortana, Bixby, and Clippy and Clappy. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I think it just, it, it's getting progressively worse. <laughs> Yes, Plum Bobby is going to be the, the, the last baby. And that's actually going to be the Plum generation. But tomorrow is already... Um, wait, they turn up into infants tomorrow. And then on Friday, they are actually... Uh, we have uh, Bixby turning into a kid. Turning into. That sounds so weird. It's like she's morphing into a kid. She's just aging up. No, Kara, no. We're not going to call the kid Flappy that's just that's just child abuse exclamation mark lurk working on a passion project noah thank you so much for the 21 months that is an absolutely wildly long time it's also my favorite number thank you so 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 much for being here for such a long time also on tier three that is above and beyond, literally. I cannot thank you enough for that. I'm going to add you to the sub board. Let me open that really quickly. Also, um, have fun with your passion project. It sounds fun. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And thank you for the lurk while you're doing that. Um, there was something that I wanted to ask you. Oh, no, I just wanted to say I'm very excited to see you in Paris. Because I see, I see you're coming too. <laughs> Clappy and Cloppy is not... 
They're called Clippy and Clappy. Very important. Not that it makes it any less bad, but, you know, just, just set the record straight. It's definitely child abuse, but that chat made me do it. <laughs> Since when is Kara orange? Since today. And it's, it's like confusing my brain, but like in a good way. I've had a good day. I'm doing absolutely nothing during the day. And then I'll go out to dinner with my family because it's also my parents' anniversary today. And my aunts and uncles was last week. After we're going to get go get ice cream from our local creamery. That sounds so lovely. That sounds like you're having a great birthday. I'm so glad to hear that. We have the same favorite number. We do, Ellie. Oh my god, I love that. That's cool, honestly. 21 is just a pretty number. Kleppy and Kleppy? No, that just makes it work. You guys. <sighs> How much do you not like this, these kids? <laughs> you have no idea how tempted I am to run outside and finally enjoy some freaking rain. Do it. Literally. Just go for it. Make it more Dutch and kleppy and kluppy. I cannot deal. Cannot deal. Also, 21 months is still the golden badge, I think. Although you have a founder's badge. So it also, it always confuses me just a little bit, but... I think 21 months. Oh, wait, no, 21 months is rainbow badge. Hold up, 21 months is rainbow badge. From 18 months and up, it's rainbow. Haha. -ha. I know my badges. They are my own. Totally know what I'm doing. Such a professional streamer. Duh. Flipsy and flipsy. Ew. Flipsy is kind of cute. Do you remember uh, Flip? Flip the bear from like, like the little white bear that would travel with kids. That was fun. Flipsy? Really? Flipsy? Oompa and Loompa. Those are good cat names though. Like if I ever get to, well, at one point in my life, I don't want to think about it now, but I will get cats again probably like after Toot and Seuss. Don't want to think about it. But Oompa and Loompa is actually kind of cute. <laughs> Flopsy was worse. Ew, Flopsy. No, Flipsy is worse, but Flopsy is also... <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, hi, Gorgino. It's good to see you. Hello, I hope you're doing well. And... <laughs> hi, Embro. <laughs> I know. I really had to think about that. I was like, how do I put bro in your name? <laughs> No worries, no. Why are you saying, where are, literally, why are you saying sorry for getting a sub gifted? Like, it's not like you can help it. <laughs> Please, and just enjoy it alongside your badge and your, like, your emotes and your app reviewing and all of those things. <laughs> Hello, boss. Hi, Barbie. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for lurking. I was lurking in your stream today. I really enjoy your gameplay. I was like, I was working as well, so I, I wasn't like super invested, but I just had it on in the background. It was really nice. <laughs> um, but you're on the sub board now, Noah. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Employee. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> I want to support you myself. Well, you can give me your signature um, or like autograph this week. <laughs> Because you're like a really famous and cool sim streamer. I And I say that like sarcastically, but I seriously mean it though. <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm going to frame it. I'm going to like hang it above my desk. And then I can be like, oh my God, I, I have like an actual autograph from the one and only Amber. <laughs> also, hi, Esther Eagle. Welcome to chat. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> It's nice to meet you. Oh, wait, I was doing some family planning because this is essential. So Cortana is aging up into a teenager. Oh, my goodness. That's all going to take so ridiculously long. Because she is aging up into an adult over here. So she definitely needs to move out at that point. Like once Alexa is a proper adult, she cannot live at home anymore. So I think that means that the kind of the parents in law suite will become available for Cortana. And then Bixby will actually move into Cortana's old room. 
and then the twins can stay downstairs, and then Plum Bobby can actually get this tiny room. I feel so bad for like giving like the next gen the tiniest room, but eventually they are going to be the only ones living here with the parents. Um, I think. Mm. Wait, there was a there was a message that got held by Automod and I approved it and now the message is just gone. And I think it's because my chat is not refreshing again. No, it's not. Wait. What was the message? Yes, this is definitely 18 plus stream. Yes. Thank you, Bren, for reposting. Or maybe you didn't repost and just load it, but that was very weird. Um, <laughs> want to do shots with me in Paris? I was not expecting that specific question, but yes, of course. As long as it's not Takia, though. Because Takia literally murders me every single time. Well, it technically murders me the next day. You know this whole lurking thing? Not going well. Gonna mute stream Lamau. Noah, thank you for the 100 bits. And and of course, I totally get it. <laughs> do what you need to do. I fully understand. Sausage Party has ruined and haunts the word flappy forever for me. I'm trying to understand why Sausage Party has anything to do with flappy. Like, I don't think I get the correlation between the two. <laughs> thank you for the shout out for Ember. If anyone wants to follow a really cool person, like I'm obsessed with this Sim streamer and that's unironically true. Um, because I watch every single one of her streams always. Um, we're going to be on a panel together as well. So you should really drop your butt on the follow button that is floating above chat right now. But, um, are we visible? Beep boop. Yeah, well, now you are. <laughs> I hate Takia. Okay, good. Good. Oh, my eye is itchy. Okay, but then we need to think about what kind of shots we're doing. Also, we're going to drink gin tonics. I'm not sure about you, but that's like my favorite drink of all times. So I'm, I will be having gin tonics for sure. Um, also, hello, Rapid. It's good to see you. How did I say it, Takia? How am I supposed to say it? Is it your favorite, really, Micah? Okay, so if we go drinking together, we're like never drinking each other's drink. <laughs> um... Also, whoever gave me a shout out, I'm angry. <laughs> Panel besties. Uh, she sounds fun. I might drop a follow. Be prepared, though, to become an employee. Like, she does that to people. <laughs> Sneeze, snap, snuppy, 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 snup. Oh my god, now that's stuck in my brain. <laughs> but vodka? I mean, I can do vodka. But not too many, because it... I can do vodka. It's, be it's better than tequila. Um, she doesn't want my services. Amber, you mean? I'll drink you all under the table. Be prepared. I'm, I'm, I mean, to be honest, go, go. I was going to say, go your gang. Okay, that was the worst dunglish I've ever done on stream. Um, <laughs> I will be probably, I, I mean, I'm going to drink, but I think I want to prevent getting horrendously drunk because that will make the weekend miserable for me because it usually results in my stomach or my app, like my, my intestines just giving up on me and I really don't want to get sick. So I'm going to definitely get like, a little bit tipsy, but I'm just not going to get fully wasted because I know I won't survive. I'm too old for that shit, okay? I might be hanging with a lot of, like, really cool young people, but uh, I'm old, you know. <laughs> I'm nearing 30, everyone. <laughs> Don't we want to be a mess at the con? Imagine me, like, sitting at the pedal with shades and me like, <laughs> so social media is, like, really, um, I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't talk. <laughs> 
Bestie, we are not the same age. You are my sister's age, my little sister's age. <laughs> You're literally a lot younger than me. <laughs> I remember finding out your age and I was like, oh my God, you're my little sister's age. <laughs> also, don't talk about age. Like the only reason Amber and I can talk about it is because we both publicly share our age already as being streamers. But uh, <laughs> I am so much older. I'm nearing 30, okay? <laughs> you look 20. Thank you. Thank you. I can pull it off. <laughs> Four years? That's like... I was gonna say that's a whole person, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Still, you're not that old. No, I know. I'm, I know I'm not that old. I mean, technically, looking at like what I do for a living and stuff, I'm always the youngest everywhere. Like at every single time I go to a conference for project manager or anything, I'm like always the youngest. So I never feel old. I always feel really young, but I feel like in streamer space, I'm not young at all. Like a lot of big streamers are under 30. Um, don't say you're so much older if you did not hit your third de decade yet. Hey, I mean, okay, to be completely fair, I think maybe some people like get it. If you graduate really young, like, obviously, there's people that graduate when they're, like, 27, and then they go to work. And then the first time, like, they go to work and stuff, and then they feel really young still because they literally just graduated and, like, their life is just kicking off. I graduated at 21. I've been working for six and a half years. I've been living on my own for eight and a half years. I've been in a steady relationship for five and a half years with a dude who is 32. <laughs> like brain wise and like I the way that the, the work that I do, everything would suggest me being at least like seven or eight years older. Like I'm adulting. I've been adulting for the last five years. So like in that case, sometimes I feel old because a lot of the things that people that are exactly like my age or a bit younger are doing, I'm not doing them anymore. Like I did them five years ago and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that I was really young. I washed my bed sheets. I'm an adult too. <laughs> yes, that's definitely an adult thing to do. That's very much an adult thing to do. I need my mom for that. Okay, do you know how to use a washer, Kara? You went to the car wash. Okay, honestly, like anyone for me who drives a car is, is really immature because I know how to drive a car, but I hate it so much. I'm terrified to death out of it. So I don't do it. I know how to use it. Then you also know how to wash your bed sheets. I've been driving for five years. Okay, in that sense, you're cooler than me. I only got my license two years ago. And I never drive because it scares the living fuck out of me. <laughs> I do not have a license. It keeps me young. To be fair, it kind of does. Um, mm, I did not graduate and work early, but I uh, own a house and a car to compensate. See, but like owning a house and owning a car is a really adult thing to do. So sometimes the things you do in your life kind of just make you feel older, even though you're not necessarily old. It's just like you're very adult. Keeps me up to date. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I will. I definitely want to I definitely want to write in your uh, friendship booklet. Okay, but now we have two kids. I'm glad I took care of her needs up front. Kiss Clappy's forehead, kiss Clippy's forehead. Uh, prefers breastfeeding. Oh no, the crying begins already. 
Okay, just quickly checking because I have... I don't think... I, I cannot remember the last time I played with seven Sims in a household. I am not joking. I don't think I've done this in two years. Who won my monies? I don't know who, who did, but we, we had twins, so... I'm gonna be giggling every time you say their names. Yeah, so for anyone who missed it, we just have twins and their names are Clippy and Clappy. Because all of our kids are named after voice assistants because their mom is named Siri. But not Siri as, like, the voice assistant. Her name is Siri from The Witcher. But everyone kept thinking that it was Siri, the voice assistant, so then we jokingly... We jokingly named her daughter Alexa, because Alexa is also still kind of like a cute name. But then chat kind of encouraged me to keep going, so the next name baby is named Cortana, which is honestly already kind of sad. Then we had a baby in a dumpster. Literally, she was conceived in a dumpster, so her name is Bixby, because Bixby is the voice assistant from Samsung, and it's kind of trash. And then someone said, how about we name the next one Clippy, which is not really a voice assistant, but it was like the voice assistant before voice assistants existed. So then we named her Clippy, but then accidentally we had twins, and now chat convinced me to name the, the baby boy Clappy. And also, this is the first son we've had, by the way. We've only had girls so far. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Um, so this is the first baby boy. Imagine being like the first son of six girls and your name is Clappy. We wanted Cloppy, but we were vetoed. Yes, because I just can't. Cloppy is so much worse. <laughs> I think Cloppy, Clappy, Cloppy. I say Cloppy so Dutch. <laughs> it's funnier than Cloppy though. Hi, Cece. I hope you're doing well. Every time that follower alert goes off, I'm watching for the to-do going back. I know. If you can find me the sound car where it also goes back, I will add it because I'm the same. I was actually looking for the sound to have the to-do also. But it, I couldn't find it anywhere. Floppy would have been so good for the horse theme. Oh my god. He could have been a horse boy. I will literally make it myself. I will record it. Okay. Let's go. Oh wait. Okay, so the thing I was checking is that she needs to go to school. And she's actually having her cereal. And then she can go to school. She's fine. She is doing perfectly fine having to go to work. He can actually technically help out with the kids, but I want him to go to work anyways. So I think for him, please just focus on your own needs first. Um, she is just going to be taking care of the babies. She's definitely going to... Uh, because now she has two kids, which is great for getting her parenting skill up, which we actually need to complete. So I think she's going to take family leave. Um, how are you doing, though? You're not doing too bad. If we put some, some food out on the counter, you can just eat yourself, and you're not doing too bad. Of course, Robin, of course. How do you do your headband like that? I got a headband, and it looks so bad. Okay, so this is the only one that I can wear. I'm not even joking. This is the only one that stays in my hair. I'm gonna, like, show you. I'm not sure if you can see. But it's, like, a really... It's kind of like a blouse fabric, if that makes any sense. And it has an elastic band on the on the back. Um, this is the only one that I can wear that stays in my hair. So I wish I could teach you, but um, I don't have much experience. It's so stupid, I know. And sometimes what helps is like adding bobby pins to the back. But if you wear glasses, that's terrible. Where can I watch the beginning of this challenge? Hi, Farnoa, welcome in. It is very nice to meet you. Um, I believe it was this one. Yeah, so, oh, thank you, Micah. But <laughs> I think it's Vots with the S. I'm not sure which of the two worked now, but that's fine. 
Um, the YouTube channel that was just linked is where I upload every single one of my VODs and I have a, a full playlist where all of the streams, it's not edited down, unfortunately, but all of the streams are there um, and you can actually just click through them. I have it all in a playlist together um, and uh, it should all be in the same or like in the correct order. And if not, the thumbnails actually have the number on it. And I think it should also be in the title. I hope that helps, but it's very nice to meet you. Welcome in. Okay, now everyone is just doing her own their own thing. Don't get angry, please. Should JJ also just take family leave? I think so. When I grow up, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do you need to do? Um, start practicing your hiding. That sounds like a good one. Uh, also, I think I'm gonna have him take family leave with two babies. I just cannot. Two babies and a toddler. So he's gonna take family leave too. Um, thank you, Dub Dub, for the reminder. Thank you. I noticed as well that I've been streaming for three hours. I think I will, like, go for just a little bit more, but not too long. Um, I loved your energy. I want to watch all the challenge. Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. I really appreciate that. I do have to warn you that I started the challenge one and a half year ago, or like... Yeah, one and a half year ago. So if you go back, you're gonna see like me going through phases. <laughs> For one day? Are you joking? You're literally saying that I have one day of family leave? Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. That is... Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow as well, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, which gen is this? Uh, gen number four. And we are really far into gen number four. I think, um, like, maybe three more streams or something, and then we should have completed this generation. Like, all of the goals that we need to achieve for this generation. She needs to complete the bodybuilder aspiration, which she literally just needs to work out for a lot. She needs to be really muscular, and that's it. Then we've completed it. She needs to um, finish the uh, fitness career. She's currently in level 8, so sh she's getting really close to completing that one too. She needs to still max out the parenting skill, which I think will just happen naturally from having a lot of kids. And she still needs to master the singing skill, which she's also at level 6 already. Um, and then there's just one thing that she needs to have a, a movie night with her family every Sunday, but we can basically already... Like, we can continue to do that um, with the next generation already being born. Um, my brain can rest in peace. Thank you, Kara. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, see if it's loud enough and stuff, and then I can, can upload it. I don't think I'll be able to do it this week, though, because I'm hideously busy. But um, I'll try. I mean, it's a very small thing to do, but still, it takes, like, five minutes out of my time. <laughs> um... I decided to wait until you end. Wait, with what? You decided to wait until I end with what? Do it whenever. I mean, I do I do want it as well because it's just it's it's it has to be there. Okay, she is still angry from an unwanted sibling? Bixby Brian just met a sibling she doesn't want at all. Oh, the poor kid. She was she was not ready to have younger siblings. Okay, I kind of feel bad for her, but um I think JJ is doing really well, so then maybe he can just give Bixby a bath. Uh ask for a bath from JJ. The drama. I feel kind of bad. Like imagine just having this beautiful big room to yourself and then all of a sudden there's two babies just like crying and screaming in your room. Also, hi the nuclearist. Welcome in. It's good to meet you. Well, meet you. I feel like I know you from Embers, but um, <laughs> it's nice to meet you in here as well. I hope you're doing good today. Yeah, not two. It's like not one, but two baby baby siblings. Okay, she's doing well on the parenting skill. The, the good thing is if we have her reach parenting skill level 10 really fast, which might help if she reads a book about it or something, 
um, she can actually do the super parenting thing and that is super easy because then you can just click on a baby and say super parent and they will take care of all the needs like really quickly. So that's super ideal if we have another baby after this. So maybe I'm going to purchase a book about parenting. Maybe she realizes now that she's way in over her head with like technically four small children that she needs to learn a bit more about it. She definitely needs some like mental help. Um, why do I not know the alphabet? Come on. Um, can you even? Yeah, okay, you can get a book. Definitely, she definitely needs volume three. I'm doubting if she still needs volume two. Maybe I'm just, well, she has enough money. You know what? I'm not gonna. Rita! Hi! Rosanna, ik ben jo lang wedjuist. Ik heb jermui jezikt jemist. Go die vond. We changed voice message. Like text to speech person. This is hilarious. I don't think I've ever heard Brian read Dutch. Thank you for the hunter bits. How have you been? It is literally so good to see you. I've missed you too. How are you doing? And thank you, Gorgino, for hanging out. I hope that you have a great workday tomorrow, even though it's very early. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, especially the Goede Avond. Didn't go very well, did it? Um, that was like not a 10 out of 10. Ah, fuck. I once again forgot that, uh, again, that someone, me, the idiot, thought it was a good idea to plan the dentist appointment at 8.30 when it's 20 kilometers of cycling away. Yes, please go to sleep, Kara. That sounds like you need to wake up quite early then. Um, I've been, had, uh, no, I'm so sorry, but feeling much better now, I'm very glad to hear that. I've heard it from multiple people, like, that experienced it, that it can be really rough. So I'm sorry that you had to go through that. But um, I'm glad to hear that you're doing better now. Um, how is the little one doing? I hope everything's going really well. And I'm praying that I won't sleep through the alarms. Yeah, put multiple. Not just one alarm, multiple, definitely. Okay, so we purchased a parents parenting book. Uh, so we're definitely going to read that for a bit. Hmm... Oh, apparently we already had volume two because... Oh, no, I did buy it. Uh-huh. I'm going to see if she can already read level three, but I don't think so. Also, she forgot her homework at home, but that's fine, I guess. Why are you crying? Clappy, clappy, clappy. Why are you crying? What is wrong with you? Stop reading the book. I feel like I just told you I was pregnant. I know, same. It's hard to believe she's going to be six months next week. I think you told me when you were like four months along, five months along maybe. It's wild to think it's been like a year since you told me. Also, yeah, she forgot her homework. Poor kid. But it's fine. She probably doesn't need her homework at school, right? Um, between 6 and 7.45 every 15 minutes, we'll have an alarm with the snoozes going off every 5. If you sleep through that, that would be impressive. I'm dying at a 6-kilometer bike ride. Same. But I hate cycling, so that's that's like... Okay, so did I not feed you? I think I forgot to feed you. Why are you still angry and why did you not get a bath from JJ? Give Bixby Brian a bubble bath. Dude, you can't just start playing games on the PC when you have an angry toddler in the kitchen. I've done it before multiple times. Really? I wish, like, I wish I could sleep that deep. That I would just sleep through all my alarms. Is, those, is there still room in the house uh, for the twins? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, this kid, Bixby, is actually going to age up into a kid quite early. Or like quite early, quite soon. So then she's going to move upstairs. We still have an empty room over here. 
So then the twins will actually have this entire room downstairs. And then we're going to have to do some creative shuffling when, when she gets another baby. Because she is going to have one more baby. Because that's going to be the next generation. It's so stressful to sleep through your alarms every morning. I, I wish I could empathize with, with this problem, but I just cannot. I always wake up on my first alarm. And even if I snooze, like, I'm not scared to snooze because I know I never actually fall back asleep. I just lie there for, like, another 10 minutes just thinking about my day. And then I just wake up. Also, hi! Hi, Kepaket. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. It's good to have you back. How have you been? Um, back in school when we had a trip to France with school, we stayed in host families. I slept at 10. My roomies thought it'd be funny if they woke me up with air horns. I didn't wake up. The host family did. They were very angry. I woke up the next day and told me everything. I mean, I'm chronically tired and I dead sleep. Like, if I'm sleeping, sleeping, like in the middle of the night, don't try to wake me up. You could put an air horn next to my bed. But my brain wakes itself up. Like, I have a very solid biorhythm. I just, I go to sleep every night around, like, same-ish time. Like, my brain or my body just naturally wakes up ever after seven to seven and a half hours. So, and I always try to get that amount of sleep. So if I don't get that amount of sleep, if I only sleep five, it's trickier with my alarm. So in that sense, I think if, I ever had to do that, like if I sleep way less, it is definitely harder for me to wake up and I could sleep through my alarm. That just never happens. Like I'm almost never in a situation where I sleep less than seven and a half hours and then I just wake up. I've fallen asleep from the top bunk in my sleep and just slept through it. Oh, you've fallen from the top bunk? I think I've done that as a kid as well. I actually had like a bunk bed with borders, so I couldn't fall out because that happened too many times. Rose just flexing how roganized she is. Yeah, this is part of me being ridiculously roganized, for sure. Yes. 100%. But like to a degree that I can also not sleep in anymore. I just don't know how to do that. Because once I'm awake after seven and a half hours, I should go out of my bed because otherwise I will get a terrible headache. Um, I was just, uh, summer cottage with friends and they put everyone, me included, who snores or sleep talks in the same cabin. That must have been the most chaotic cabin ever. <laughs> I mean, it's practical to just all put you together because you're probably used to sleeping through it a bit more. I think I did it on a cruise ship. Oh my god, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, people hovering over me, scowling at me. Because you actually fell... Um, also people are apparently very confused at a sleepover when we're gonna, when we're gonna go to bed and I'm asleep within like 30 seconds. I had that. Oh my God. I had it this weekend as well. That's another thing that really doesn't fit with ADHD, by the way, um, is that you can fall asleep really fast. I had it. I was with my two f best friends and we were just chatting and I literally, I was like sitting up and then I laid down and 30 seconds, I was just out. I sleep so fast. Once my brain has decided, okay, we're going to go to sleep, there's no stopping it. I just laid out and, and I'm gone instantly. If I lay awake at night, that's very rare and there's something very wrong. Like, I just know. When did we have twins? I missed a lot. We actually had twins, like, I think half an hour ago. They're called Clippy and Clappy. <laughs> because we had to improvise on the second name. Hi, Awful Chia. It's so good to see you. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I can literally turn myself off. I think that, to a degree, it kind of feels like that for me as well. Like I can turn myself off. I can be like, whoop, and I'm gone. Um, says I fall asleep very fast too. Really? I mean, maybe it's an autism thing instead of an ADHD thing. Clappy is pronounced cloppy. No, it's not. <laughs> When I was younger, my mate stuck sticker on top of, of bunk beds um, all over my body. Really? As a prank? Did you think it was funny? Or did you not like it at all? Okay, she actually got a bath. Um, her attention is up. I think... 
I think maybe JJ can just hang out with... Don't start working out. He can actually hang out with the with the Kido. Um Toddler Care. Is it in toddler care? Small talk. Activities. Teach to talk. I think that could be cute. How is she doing? Okay, now that kid is screaming. Doesn't have a dirty diaper though. And literally. You had something to eat or drink an hour ago. But okay, sounds like babies. High maintenance. Uh, let me throw the bottle away. This is going to be very chaotic. Very Why did you have to go back into the bathroom? There was literally so much space over here. You had to go back into the bathroom and sit in the puddle. This game sometimes. But yeah, I do think I... I um. Because I noticed myself getting a little bit tired. And obviously, I'm going to stream again tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to do some more Not So Berry Challenge. So we're literally going to continue the story tomorrow night. So there is no need in me trying to squish everything into this stream and, like, continue playing. Because I, we will literally see each other again tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning of stream, I was really tired um, all day. And I had an insanely busy work day. Um, and I've been streaming for over three hours. I know the timer doesn't say so. but Toots actually ended my stream after 30 minutes today. She sat on the button on my stream deck and she stopped my stream. But um, yeah, I have a really busy day. I also just saw that we uh, got a meeting scheduled in for tomorrow, which is really important. So I want to make sure to be well rested because I'm going to have a meeting with a like an external party and I need to be fresh and present. Um, aw, Robin, thank you. I'm glad it did. Really, really glad it did. Um... Are you adding sim selves? Yeah, I was thinking I was... Do you have a preference or where, uh, where you want to live? Because um, I was thinking of doing that, like, right after stream. Because it's it's very boring process of just literally downloading the sim and moving them in. So if you have a preference for a world, let me know. And then I'll move them in after stream. I'll just leave my game open. Um, I usually do those things after stream. It's easy. <laughs> um, what? I could have had two peas today. What? Oh, they are vampires. Oh, yeah, that's that was it. We're definitely going to move them into the vampire world for sure. Also, it's raining so badly. I think I'm going to have to close the balcony door because it's probably raining indoors. Um, Let me actually go find someone to raid. Because I do want to send your lovely vibes over to um some other cool person. Ooh, oh, I mean... I don't know how long she's going to stream for still. It looks like she's not ending anytime soon. She's been streaming for a while, though. Um, I think I'm going to raid her, though. It looks like she's still she's still going for a bit um, because she, she's another duchy. She's doing a little she's doing a little cute build. Oh, my God, uh, you're fucked. It's okay, I only heard it just now, and I feel like that's because the wind turned, and when I hear it here, it's usually raining in the in the thingy. But um But yeah, we're gonna go over to Simri. If you guys don't know. Oh wait, she is saving now. Does that mean that she's ending stream? Does that mean that she's ending stream? Because I really wanted to go, but it Or was she just saving? No, she was just saving. Okay, fine. <laughs> The chaos of raiding someone who's like over the three hour stream mark is always a bit chaotic. But um, if you want to stay in touch with the community, uh, when I stream, what I stream, etc., feel free to join our Discord. We would absolutely love to have you there. If you want to keep up with my streams or like any other things that I do, my uh, YouTube videos, my tweets, etc., feel free to click on the card link that was just posted on chat. Um, the, uh, the card link will link you directly. Oh, she is actually ending. Okay, we're going to need... We're gonna need to find someone else to raid. She is actually ending right now. Dang it! <laughs> oh, I think that I'm gonna take you to someone that we raided um, not too long ago. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you to 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 another rose. I think I think that could be fun. I'm gonna take you to another rose. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over to Beefy Raviolis again because that was one of the funnest blind raids I've ever done. 
Um, she is uh, doing some drama in Simland, also some gameplay. So if you enjoyed today's stream, you'll probably enjoy it over there as well. Um, if you're joining in on the raid, feel free to copy and paste one of the raid messages. My name, well, officially my name is Rosanna, um, but a lot of people call me Rose, especially uh, in the Netherlands. Holy shit, this rain is wild. Sorry, I just screamed because of that. <laughs> but I'm going to start that raid. If you come with, feel free to copy and paste one of the raid messages. Um, also, if you, um, even we heard that. Yeah, it's literally pouring against my window. This is wildin'. Um, if you come with the raid, thank you so much because raiding is a great way to make someone's day and I love making people's day So I would love to make this person's day because she's absolutely wonderful and lovely and you will enjoy it so much over there Thank you also for the for the shout out for BFF raviolis If you're hanging out here and you do not see the pop-up for the raid Feel free to click the link that was just posted in chat that way you actually already have their stream open And then if twitch is being twitchy and doesn't take you automatically you still get to join in on Spamming the chat with all the cute emotes and like the cute rape message and you got to meet a wonderful lovely other sim streamer So you ought to really come with um, but thank you so much for hanging out I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for letting me do a bit of a shorter stream today I'll be back tomorrow We're gonna continue with the not so very challenge and until then have a great rest of your time zone. I love all of you and I'll see you soon Bye